You have a high body count. You only like white boys. Somebody says you got daddy issues. <laughs> Let's begin. Hi guys, welcome back to a, another video. I'm sorry, I didn't upload last week. I was having the time of my life. <laughs> I went to Rocking the Daisies. I didn't vlog any of it because, yo, a lot was going on. Wow. But anyways, hey, welcome back. So today I am going to be filming an assumptions video. I asked you guys to give me some assumptions you guys may have about me. Ugh, why do I have this on my wrist? Cool. I asked you guys to <laughs> make assumptions about me anonymously because I knew if I put in the normal question box, nobody would make assumptions about me with their chest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some people just misunderstood the assignment and they asked me questions and I was like, Okay then, so there will be like a few questions here and there, but let's get into the assumptions. First assumption. Whoa, right off the bat, somebody said you have a high body count. Well, I haven't killed any people, so my body count is zero. There's that assumption cleared up, just in case anybody else was wondering, you know, zero. You don't wear makeup. I do wear makeup. I don't wear makeup often. I'm in the process of learning how to do my makeup because I live with a makeup artist. She's my friend. You should follow her makeup page. She's brilliant. So she's teaching me how to do makeup and slowly but surely, I will learn how to snatch my face. So in the process of learning how to do my makeup, as of right now, trash. Every time we go out, I'm like, help me, I don't know what to do, but I'm getting better. Somebody said, I assume that you can't live without wine. Your life can be just boring. <laughs> you know, I don't blame the person for assuming that because if you look at the majority of the videos on my channel, I'm drinking wine. But no, my life would not be boring. I would just be sober. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> it would be boring. I'm kidding. No, I can live without wine. I don't really have an addictive personality, but I do enjoy wine. My life wouldn't be boring. I would just find other alcohol to drink. I'm joking. Oh, okay, somebody said any dating advice. So this was one of the questions. If you have any dating advice, send it my way. Even me, I wanna know. Yo. Okay, this is a question. Somebody asked, are you ready to be in a committed relationship? No, leave me alone. Thank you so much, but leave me alone. I'm good. And then they said, and I know this is not relevant to the first question, but who's your favorite Marvel hero? Thank you for asking me this question. It means a lot. Spider-Man. Guys, that was my childhood crush for like the longest time. I'm obsessed with Spider-Man. Let me know who your favorite Spider-Man is. My favorite Spider-Man is Tobey Maguire. My favorite Peter Parker though is Tom Holland. Andrew Garfield was just there for vibes in my, in my opinion, but he is funny. Anyway off topic somebody said you have dated someone or been with someone 10 years your senior as in 10 years older than me that is a grown man i am 20 so no i have not dated somebody who is 30 years old no i've never been with somebody who is 30 years old you are ready to start a family at that age i am just figuring things out <laughs> next you only date rich well you see according to my history apparently not apparently <laughs> <laughs> not. Apparently, I date... I'm sorry, that was rude. <laughs> Apparently, I date guys who maybe have money but just don't want to spend it on me. Or maybe they actually just don't have money. Yeah, I don't know. But the answer is no. I don't only date rich. But from now on, you will find me there, okay? From now on, that's where you'll find me. You'll find me where the money is, okay? <laughs> You get DMs from celebs. Men are in everybody's DMs. So, there's that as well. You don't have your insecurity. I'm assuming they meant that I don't have any insecurities. That's like an intimate topic as well, like insecurities and stuff like that. Maybe I'll get into some stuff in a different video, but that's not the video for this. But also like when you put things online or like put your insecurities online, I don't know, I just feel like it gives leeway for people to use those against you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but yes I do. Everybody has insecurities, myself included. You want to be a wag. You know, I wouldn't mind being a wag. 
I would love to be a wag. You know, I would just like to be a girlfriend. Just in general. <laughs> but not now. Leave me alone. You want to have a big family and marry young. That's cute. Do I give that energy? That's so cute. Do I want to have a big family? I don't know. My family already, as is, is huge. Like, humongous. My mom is one of 10 children. So family gatherings, loud. So crazy, but so much fun. So maybe I would want to have a big family. I don't know. I'll see when the time comes. Just imagining pushing out children out of myself. I just don't know with like where I draw the line, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. And I want to marry young? No. Marrying young, that means I would have to marry soon. And... <laughs> this one, when I saw, I was like, is this not a microaggression? But let me read it for you guys. It says, you are using a black name in order to appear like an exceptionally hot black girl, but you're actually just colored. Oh, but by the way, thanks for calling me an exceptionally hot black girl. Exceptionally, they said. But also, like, what do you mean by that? And what do you mean I'm using a black name? That's my name. There's so much wrong with that assumption, but we're not about to unpack it on this channel. Somebody goes, you've got a big bunda. How is that an assumption? That's a fact, so wrong video. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> You wish you were an opera singer. I know who sent this assumption, and yes, I do. Guys, if I could sing like an opera singer, my life would be so complete. How do they sing like that? Beautiful. I really wish I was an opera singer. You are colored in black. I'm assuming this is because you guys have seen my mom. I'm black. My mom's side of the family is colored, yes. My granny is a mix of so many different cultures, though. She has Mauritian blood in her, she has Indian blood in her, colored. So my mom's side, yes, but I'm black, okay? Aww. Somebody goes, you love love. Yeah, I do. Ugh, love is just beautiful. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I love love. <sighs> <laughs> you are an elegant young lady. I guess. I don't know. Sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes. I don't know. I think I carry myself well. Sometimes. <laughs> it depends on who I'm with and who I'm around. If I'm with my friends, unhinged. Otherwise, in spaces where I'm not too familiar with the people, then I, like, I hold my own. Your family is well off. I actually got a few of these. Somebody said your family is well off. Somebody said you're rich. I receive it. Thank you. But like on a real note, no, actually no, I'm not gonna unpack, guys. I'm still trying to figure out where to draw the line from sharing enough and then oversharing. But I received that, so thank you for manifesting that for me. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, this one I was like, this is probably a man sending me this. Somebody goes, why do you do so many videos with men? Don't you care about what your family or future husband slash children will think of you? No. I'm pretty sure my future husband and children are going to love me so much. They're gonna think I'm so much fun and such a lovely human being. But thank you. Thanks for taking the time to ask. That's very kind. Somebody goes, you enjoy your own company, so you don't really have friends and turn to your family <laughs> once in a while when you're feeling a little com company. Oh, when I want company, basically. That's mildly true. That was just funny because are you assuming that I don't really have friends? Well, it's probably because I don't post much of my friends, I guess. Even on my Instagram, I don't post my friends often. I actually don't post like my personal, personal life. It's just like snippets here and there. On a daily basis, I'm with my friends a lot of the time, actually. But I do have friends. Okay, wait, what's the assumption? I'm just like defending the fact that I have friends. Oh, you enjoy your own company, so you don't really have friends. I do enjoy my own company. And you turn to family once in a while. I do. I love my family, my favorite human beings on this whole entire planet. Yeah, so this assumption is kind of true, I guess. True. Let me read it out loud. <laughs> Have past traumas of people taking advantage of your kindness. <sighs> Guys, yes. Because I don't know how to say no to people. I'm also a very forgiving person. I don't hold grudges. <laughs> it's just too much effort to hold grudges. So I'm just like, hey, 
this is like a red flag of mine i don't know how to set clear boundaries sometimes i just don't know how to set a boundary for myself to be like wait no you are actually not allowed in my life anymore or i'm not going to give you this much access into my life anymore getting better though kind of it's actually not a thing that i'm actively practicing but we'll get there eventually there's so much time to learn and grow so true this assumption is correct you have very high standards when it comes to men because you grew up privileged but not necessarily financially i guess i wouldn't say i have really high standards i think i have the basics i think i have high expectations though standards just like be a good human being and be kind respectful a freaking maybe pay for a date you know <laughs> um, because you grew up privileged but not necessarily financially this one is confusing me because it says not financially in what other way would a black woman be privileged if it isn't financial you know like I'm a black woman I'm like at the bottom of the social pool in society Th does it make sense I, that's a genuine question like in what other way would I be privileged you're a girl's girl yes I am I actually don't have many guy friends I can't lie yeah, so yes, I'm a girl's girl. You come from a generational wealth and a very loving home. What generational wealth? And a loving family. Yes, indeed. Shout out to my mom for creating that environment and loving household for me. Generational wealth. My mom worked her butt off. She's the hardest working woman I've ever known. Not even woman, she's the hardest working human being I've ever known. She worked her butt off to do so many things for my brother and I because it was basically just the three of us in the household. So she's just an incredibly phenomenal human being. She's a superhero. No generational wealth, just my mother working even longer than nine to five. I've gotten so many of these. The assumption is you only like white boys. Somebody said, you prefer white men over black men. <laughs> you don't like black guys. <laughs> False. <laughs> Let's st start there. I, the answer is no. I don't only like white men. Yeah. Somebody said coconut. Yes, I am. I went to a predominantly white school basically my whole life since grade four. <laughs> I, yes, I am whitewashed. I get it, okay? I get it. At first, I thought you were a typical Mbali. Ooh, what do you mean by that? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> what am I then, if I'm not a typical Mbali? Somebody assumes that I would never date anyone younger than me. Um, <laughs> I'm not opposed. If it's the love of my life and he just so happens to be younger than me, put a ring on my finger. Okay guys, we had a slight break. I had to change my memory card, but we're back. As I was saying, if it's the love of my life and he happens to be younger than me, put a ring on my finger. Maybe not right now though, I feel like, because I'm 20, so like how much younger are you gonna be, you know? You wear a size eight and you don't like wearing heels. Are you trying to buy me shoes? <laughs> Wait, are you trying? Is this person trying to buy me shoes? No, I'm a size five and I prefer wearing sneakers. Who are you? Send me sh shoes. <laughs> somebody, somebody says you got daddy issues. And what about it? And what about it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's unpack. I'm kidding. <laughs> I think that's where I'm going to end the video. There were wild ones, but I didn't answer a lot of the wild ones because this is the internet okay well thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my next video is gonna be a story time you guys really enjoyed my one and only story time and you guys have asked for more but the next one is gonna be fun it's about the time <gasps> you'll see but it's gonna be super fun because what was i thinking what was i thinking anyway i'm just hyping up the next video so well i hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>